As an incumbent, how do I react to a disruptive innovation specifically? How can I depart from existing but still profitable business models while developing new business models where success is uncertain? This is a key dilemma that many established organizations face, how to continue to exploit existing and mostly profitable business while at the same time develop new business which is highly uncertain and unlikely to be profitable, at least in the short run. Uh, a key way of doing this is to be able to allocate resources and manage this portfolio of resources in a way that protects the core while so also helps you to diversify into new and emerging uh, technologies and innovations that can create value. So the key thing here is to manage exploitation with exploration and do this skillfully and dexterously concept that's often called ambidexterity. So this is a key dilemma, as you, as you mentioned. Um, the dilemma is that uh, the way, one way of overcoming this dilemma is for companies to create a protected environment for innovative ideas. It's normal that current ideas will win the lion's share of resources. So the way the management and leadership can uh, encourage innovation is to create that protected space for these innovative ideas, for them to generate and multiply and not be overwhelmed by the resources that are being consumed for uh, existing business. How do we evaluate and select new business models? The uh, traditional way of evaluating and, 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 and selecting new business models has been to uh, base it on your competencies. So you had a set of competencies, things you were good at, and that would allow you to uh, select and decide which models you could potentially uh, develop. In a, chain, in a world that we live in today, companies have proven this wrong. Apple had no competencies in the music industry, became one of the largest players in the world of music. Netflix had no competencies in the movie content uh, world, became one of the largest producers and distributors of movie content. So we live in a world where you need to think beyond just the competencies you have in terms of selecting new business models and think in terms of opportunities for value creation and capture across ecosystems which cut across industries, which cut across your traditional businesses and are much wider in their scope and scale. How do we manage the challenge of trade-offs between managing existing and new businesses? So this is a key challenge for many organizations across a range of industries, We're seeing this in insurance and financial uh, organizations as well as regular, uh, uh, well, let's start this again. <laughs> start this again. Um, you start now? Can I? Yeah, so just looking straight at Charles. And yeah. start when you're ready. This is a key challenge for many kinds of organizations, how to manage this dilemma of exploiting your core business while exploring new opportunities, developing new business models. One way to do that is to, of course, uh, for large companies, is to develop the innovative potential through acting like a startup. So for example, GE has created something called FastWorks, and they have something called the Lean Startup Movement. They want to act like a startup, behave like a startup, ally with startups in order to unleash the innovative potential that comes both within as well as through partnering. So that's one method through which organizations deal with this duality or this challenge of both trying to be a startup as well as trying to be an incumbent organization that continues to do its regular business and make money from what it's been used to doing for the last, depending on how old it is. What are the best ways to align my business model with my organizational management model? This is a key challenge for organizations. Um, it's not just that you come up with breakthrough ideas. Many times companies and businesses come up with breakthrough ideas. A key challenge is to be able to deliver on that uh, breakthrough idea and develop an appropriate business model. But an even bigger challenge is to make sure that your management model is appropriate and fits with that new business model. Uh, one reason why many business models fail in the implementation is that there is no right or appropriate organizational structure in place to deliver on that business model. So this alignment is key. You need to make sure that your organization is organized, is structured in a way that allows you to be agile, that allows you to move quickly, that allows you to adapt. So if you're a large organization, you need to make changes in the way you're organized just as you try to develop new business models and both these processes need to be simultaneously aligned and, and in sync. 
how should I develop and adapt my business model to new markets, such as developing markets or even base of the pyramid markets? A couple of aspects to this. One thing is you could take a business model from a developed market and into an emerging market or a base of pyramid market, and that would be innovative for that particular market. At other, at other times, it might not be possible to replicate a model or to adapt a model for this market, and you might need to develop a customized new business model for that particular market. A key characteristic of um, emerging markets, and more specifically, base of, pyramid market, base of the pyramid markets is um, resource accessibility, affordability, and availability. Given these constraints, companies have to learn how to do more with less. While this is true for developed markets as well, this becomes particularly critical for emerging and base of the pyramid markets. So improvisation, uh, leveraging resources very efficiently, eliminating all kinds of slack and waste is absolutely critical in these markets. Another key difference that, um, that these markets, or another key challenge that these markets present is that there are lots of institutional voids. There are lots of things you can't take for granted electric supply, infrastructure, transportation, logistics. So it becomes critical for you to partner with our other organizations, government agencies, NGOs, and all kinds of organizations to co-create value. So co-creation, while is true, again, for developed markets, becomes even more critical for emerging and base of the pyramid markets.